Now let us move on to the second most commonly used irrigant EDTA. Ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid is the full form of EDTA. It is a common chelating agent. It chelates metals. Here calcium is chelated by this EDTA. And Nygaard and Ortsby were the first uh, people to introduce EDTA in endodontics. It is used as the final irrigant. As the name suggests, it is a final irrigant means it is used in removing the inorganic smear layer after the usage of sodium hypochlorite. Sodium hypochlorite removes the organic content. This EDTA will be used after sodium hypochlorite to remove the inorganic smear layer content. But sodium hypochlorite and EDTA cannot be used together. It is usually used after sodium hypochlorite because when they are mixed, sodium hypochlorite loses its capacity. What capacity? The chlorine ions present freely when uh, EDTA mixes with it, the capacity of the antimicrobial property is lost. So therefore, after uh, sodium hypochlorite use is over, we use EDTA. 5.25% sodium hypochlorite during shaping followed by 17% EDTA for one minute as a final irrigant is the recommended protocol. And the mechanism of action, it chelates the calcium ions. Uh, it, the chelate solutions with the calcium ion of dentin and it, the dentin becomes friable in nature. It is more easy to instrument when it is friable. And 17% EDTA is non-toxic which is a major advantage when compared to sodium hypochlorite and it has no deleterious effects. So the major advantage is that it removes the inorganic portion that is of the endodontic smear layer, dentinal debris are removed, dentin becomes friable once it is uh, exposed to EDTA and it facilitates instrumentation. Demineralization is uh, directly proportional to the exposure time. The more the exposure, the greater the demineralization process, it softens dentin as we saw. In case of intracanal calcifications, since it facilitates demineralization, EDTA gel helps in negotiating canals. So if the canal is narrow or calcified, EDTA is pumped into canal or EDTA is coated in the uh, files used and then uh, it is instrumented. So after pumping EDTA into canal, one minute is usually the waiting time given after which the instrumentation facilitates with results. So in this video, we saw about EDTA and NaOCl as the most commonly used irrigant solutions. See you soon in the next video.